Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today we're going to be drawing this little furry skunk. So get yourself some plain white paper, you'll need a pencil, an eraser, and that's it. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping just here. And it looks a bit like this one here. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off our skunk with a nice big oval shape just towards the bottom half of the page. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of an oval shape, a bit like this. Remember to do it lightly in pencil, I'm just doing it quite heavily so that you can see it better on camera. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to add in the head. So the head's this little kind of triangular shape, just down here, bottom right hand corner. There we go. There's a little head. Now we're going to add in the big tail. So on this left-hand side of this oval shape, we're gonna go upwards. It's gonna curve in and round. And up again. And we're gonna go all the way around like this. And it's gonna join the body just there. That's a huge tail. Okay, now we're going to add the legs. So just coming out from this oval shape again, we're going to draw a line coming downwards. Then we're going to draw another line coming down to meet the ground and then pointy feet. Don't worry, we're going to do more detail later. This is just to get the rough idea in. Okay, and then the same for the front. And then last but not least, this one. This one finishes a little bit higher because it's further away from us. We're going to add the ground. Well, actually, to be honest, this skunk is on... Uh, on a tree stump. So here's the tree stump here. There we go. Just like that. Right, now it's time to add a bit more detail. So let's draw this cute little nose. So I'm just erasing some of my preparatory drawing. And I'm just adding a little nose like this. Just like so. Okay. And then a little nostril and another little nostril on the other side. Now we're just going to draw a bit more of the head. So a line going upwards, another line going upwards there. I'm going to erase a little bit more of this preparatory drawing. Now I'm not going to erase too much so that I can just see enough of it. I still know where the head's going to go. Okay, so a little beady eye here. And another little beady eye on this side. And then the outer part of the face. A little ear poking out from here. Okay. If I go too quickly, please just hit pause and rewind. I'm doing lots of little kind of feathery lines just to show that it's very furry. We're going to draw the other ear here. Okay. Now we're coming back down here. And just doing the muzzle area. So it comes up round and it follows that triangular shape that we did before. I can just about see it underneath my drawing. There we go. I'm just going to colour in the eyes, leaving a little gap white to show that there's some light catching it. Okay, it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Okie dokie, you with me? All right, let's carry on. So this one's going to join this oval shape up here. So I'm going to raise this oval shape because we're going to do it properly now. So goodbye. There we go. And because it, this is very furry, a lot of you are asking how you draw fur. So I draw fur by just using lots of wispy lines. Can you see what I'm doing here? Lots of wispy lines. I'm going across now using lots and lots of wispy lines. Okay, that's to show the white part. Now I'm going to show the black fur because this splits off into two because it's got two white stripes, but we can't see the other white stripes. So we're just doing the black part here. So it just comes up and round like so. And then we're just going to show where the bottom of the white stripe is going to be. It comes down. It's kind of taking shape now, isn't it? Really see what it's going to look like. Okie dokie, so the main feature is this huge tail. At the bottom is where you find the glands which secrete that really stinky spray, which apparently 
it can spray up to 12 feet. That's insane. That's like 3.7 meters. That is a long distance. And the stink can stay on you for up to four months. Did you know that? I didn't. So there we go. All righty, let's draw this tail, this magnificently big tail. Okie doke. So going upwards, I'm gonna be drawing lots of long lines now because the fur's a lot longer here. So following the shape that we did before, I'm following these lines, I can still see them. Make sure you can still see yours. Follow all the way around, all the way around. It's getting more jagged. You see this? More jagged all the way to the tip. There we go. Okay. And when it reaches the tip, it's going to come back round. And we're going to come all the way down now. All the way down till we hit the body again. So again, I'm going to get rid of these preparatory lines because we don't need them anymore. And it comes all the way down. All the way down like so. Do a bit of the tummy here. And now we're going to add in the legs. So one leg here. Got quite furry legs, so I'm just adding lots of fur there. Can you see that? And then beneath all the fur, there are tiny little feet. I'm just drawing a few little toes, just poking out the bottom and some claws there. Okay, we're gonna do the same for the front limbs. Lots of furry lines. Again, lots of furry lines here. I'm going to start off a little bit higher here till we reach there. And there, got the little toes. Little toes. Here we go. With their claws on the end, just like that. And then this one just comes out from behind here. Again, lots of furry lines. And again, lots of little toes. And the claws, you got it. Okay, let's just join up this tree log. There we go, it's a stump, sorry. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more detail. So we need this line going all the way up the center of the forehead. There we are. We can add a little bit more shading. I'm just adding a bit more shading on either side of the head, particularly where the ears are. A bit more here underneath. Now using the side of my pencil, I'm just going to colour in all the areas that aren't white. I'm actually going to do this all over the skunk, so Again, just using the side of my pencil, I'm just going to colour in all the areas that aren't white. There we go. I'm going to add in the other leg because it's just literally just peeping out from behind this one. So you can't see it too much, but I'm going to do it much darker. Okay, now other areas that are really dark and in shadow, this leg, just underneath the head. So I'm going over it and I'm pressing a lot harder now. Also adding a bit more shadow just underneath here, just where the light's not hitting it. Sorry, I'm just going to raise this up a little bit. I've just realized it's a little bit too far down. So, there we go. That's better. So 
Okay, I'm making it a little bit darker towards the back. A good way to shade is using the pencil on its side. It doesn't make it so harsh. If I use the pencil like this, then you get really, really harsh lines. So that's a good tip. So I'm just going to go back to using it on its side here as well. And also here, because the majority of this tail is white, but it's still got some, some parts in black, just around the edges. Particularly this bit at the end, a bit more black than white here. There we go. Also, it's a good technique to try and cover a, a large space very quickly. If you're like me and very impatient, you want to get your drawing done very quickly. You want to do it as quickly as possible. Just doing a couple of stray lines within the middle. Just give it a bit more shape. There we go. There we go. We can add a few to this white part here. Because it's not completely white. It's a little bit darker. We can add a little bit of shading down here to the tree stump, particularly underneath. This area is obviously going to be in shadow. There we go. Make the tree stump look a little bit more realistic, so you can add some bits of bark around the edge. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to add some rings just here. going to carry on shading, just doing all the darker areas, just around this tree stump as well, particularly underneath. Now for the little nose, I'm just going to colour in the nose, leaving a little bit shiny at the top, so a little bit in white. Can you see that? You're doing so well if you've got this far. So basically the trick is to just keep on building up and building up, making it darker and darker, but just in layers so that you don't go overboard and it doesn't get too dark. Now I'm really pressing very hard now. If you notice, I haven't actually needed to blend anything because I'm just going in such gradual layers. It's kind of blending itself. You can blend if you want. And then last but not least, we're going to add in a few whiskers here. I'm just going to tidy up all the little bits that I went over here. I'm 
And here's our finished skunk drawing. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit subscribe and like and do check out this next video. You're going to love it. See you soon. Bye-bye.